Hi, uh, welcome to uh, China Civil and the Business Law channel on YouTube. Um, my name is Jason Tian. Um, I'm from Shanghai. I'm living here. Uh, I'm a lawyer, practice law in China. Um, actually, I've been a lawyer for you know fifteen years. Uh, I was graduated in two thousand five. Um, right now, I'm serving uh, as you know, the lending law offices. I'm a one of the senior partner here in this law firm. And lending law offices is uh, it's a new law. It's a new firm indeed. That we uh, a group partner. We initially uh, set up the law firm back in uh, July and two thousand eighteen. And ever since then, we have been growing very very fast. And now, right now, in our Shanghai headquarter office, we have about one hundred fifty. Uh, you know, lawyers and the staff, and uh, you know we are still uh, growing very fast, either uh, domestically or internationally. Uh, throughout China, we've already set up uh, almost uh, more than a dozen uh, domestic offices, and in the same time, we have been uh, setting up uh, offshore offices, uh, especially in. Uh, East China, East China, East uh, Southeast Asia, and also, uh, indeed, we have uh, also office in Los Angeles, uh, in the United States. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're getting very fast, and uh, I personally uh, head, you know, uh, is is the head of the uh, cross border uh, family law uh, family law uh, team uh, at lending law offices. Um, most of the time, we you know practice the cross-border uh, civil and business law um, and that's why uh, we created a name for this channel uh, like that. Uh, next, why uh, do I you know, want to make uh, videos uh, on YouTube? Uh, well, vlogging uh, has been very popular for, for years, right? I mean, the whole industry has to catch up with that trend. And the digital marketing for uh, for lawyers are very important. It's simply for uh, lawyers like me who you know whose clients are uh, most individuals because we practice family law, right? Uh, so uh, digital marketing is very important. Uh, so I am I'm just trying to uh, ride the tide, right? Um, well, second reason um, I have been trying to uh, you know. To look for a similar you know, channel on YouTube that explains Chinese law, but indeed I I, I cannot find any uh, any good one, or indeed I have not located anyone at all. So I think probably it's not a bad idea, uh, you know, for me to create this channel, try to explain uh, to the to the world about Chinese laws, how it works in China. Chinese very very special, right? And everybody. Uh, you know, probably want to know something about China, uh, given China's current uh, economic, uh, you know, power uh, in the world stage. Um, also, uh, you know, creating this channel, this is, uh, you know, a casual way to interact with, the, you know, potential uh, client, with friends all over the world. Um, and that's why, you know, I did not, I don't dress dress up like uh, uh, you know in 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 nice suit uh, like in appearing in the courtroom. It's in a in a very coral a casual uh, setting. So I think you don't mind um, you know you know I uh, dress up like this. Uh, yeah, the, you know what are we going to talk about um, you know on this channel? Uh, I mean, uh, this is called China Civil and uh, uh, Business Law. Well, um, yeah, uh, mainly we talk about, uh, uh, you know, under civil law umbrella, uh, we will discuss, uh, talk about marriage, uh, succession inheritance, and, you know, cross the border estate planning, um, uh, but also uh, in this area, uh, we also talk about a lot about China property law. And sometimes we need to uh, talk about uh, the custody, uh, custody law, especially custody of the adults, of the elderly people, 
that's very a big concern for many Chinese overseas uh, people uh, who still have their parents back in China. Uh, well, I mean, on the each this sub subject, we we can also further divide into many uh, smaller topics. And um, uh, well, I'm not going to in that detail. Um, the, I have the outline here, uh, you know, to guide me what I'm going to talk about in the future. Uh, for for the business law, well, we talk we talk about the general corporate law. I mean, in foreign investor, we need to understand back to the how China company operates, uh, and we also uh, talk about the foreign investment in China. Uh, I mean, foreign investment in China has been uh, uh, very, very strong, uh, you know, for many years. Uh, also, we discussed about Chinese company uh, invest, you know, in foreign markets, as we call it, outbound investment. Uh, in this part, uh, business law, uh, a very important uh, area we need to discuss is the foreign exchange uh, rules. Uh, by for exchange, uh, I mean how you know the money can move across the China border. Sometimes clients complain it's very difficult to uh, move money into China to buy property or to invest. Sometimes it's more important to take the money out of China. And you know, still, many people have some uh, uh, not uh, not real, uh, you know, how to say. I mean, some people still think China is very closed economy. And once you get in, it's difficult to get out. Or well, it's not actually it's not that case. We're going to discuss that uh, in detail in the future about China for exchange rules. Yeah, and that that's about civil and business law. But I think in the, in the future we will also probably discuss other something not really uh, closely related to law, but people might be want to know. For example, China politics, uh, China culture, uh, society, and a social phenomenon. Um, any interesting things happen in China um, that can be, you know, interesting to, to my audience, I might, you know, post uh, here uh, on this channel. Uh, I'm also hoping in the future when we grow, uh, well, I mean, build a, a good audience base. Um, more people uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, I want to turn uh, this channel into a platform for the interaction uh, between uh, our foreign clients, foreign friends, uh, in a foreign uh, in the investor to interact with the uh, China uh, legal community. I mean, I'm going to invite some other people, some other lawyers uh, in China to uh, give, discuss certain stuff such a topic, for example, uh, criminal law or intellectual property law, you know, this area of law, I personally don't practice, okay? Um, you know, a lawyer practice every law, probably is nothing, uh, cannot practice any law. So it's very, it's, uh, it's very important for a lawyer to concentrate on certain, uh, ex, you know, uh, area, certain area of law uh, and to build their own expertise uh, in that area. So, um, well, we might also in, invite foreign uh, peers, foreign counterparts who are uh, interested in, Chan, in China, Chinese law, uh, who knows about Chinese law, and should you know, ask them to discuss uh, China law from you know, their perspective, from their eyes. That would be very interesting, I think. Um, so this is what I'm, what I'm going to uh, discuss in the future. Okay, uh, it's very happy uh, and excited uh, to shoot my first video on YouTube. And uh, uh, once I kick it off, uh, I'm trying to uh, keep it alive for as long as possible. Um, but as you can see, uh, as a foreigner, use English language to describe the law, that can be very challenging. Uh, basically because uh, the, the legal system, uh, the con legal concepts are so different. Sometimes it's just not easy to explain a legal term uh, in a foreign language very clearly. Uh, but I will try my best anyway. Uh, here, I call for your support uh, for this channel. Please uh, subscribe uh, to my channel. 
and uh, if and like my like and share uh, this video which you think is interesting to your friends um and in, 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 i will try my i try my best to uh, to in, upload the informative and quality video in the future uh, to make it is worthwhile worth your time uh, watching the video anyway uh, thanks for watching and i will see you next i'll see you in my next video thank you bye bye